Welcome back to Bailey Guernsey Shipwrecks and we're back on the east coast again today. We're going to go on to the ammunition wreck which is just over there outside the harbour mouth and also want to go all the way down here which is our normal stomping ground for scallops. Um, we might find some other stuff, might find a few spider crab, a lobster or two or a flatfish. Fingers crossed, you never know. With scuba diving you just never know what's going to happen. That's the uh, excitement in it for me. <laughs> and it's a big race to get out of the harbour on time. We've got Corsair going at one knot. The salt bow going at six knots. Okay, so we're going to go. <laughs> right, Looks like we're in third place currently. And he's coming down the inside. He's, uh, he's, <laughs> gonna, he's got the job to go and he's... Uh, and he's about to drop the hammer, and he's going to drop the hammer, and there it goes. Oh, very casually done. Yeah. And he's coming with a late winner. Turn around, Matt, the swell is awful. So what we what we costing at the moment? Half a knot. Translation of called Guernsey YTS first to make yeah. sure the weather. YTS is that not YouTube? YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> CI Guernsey Fishing. Yeah. Brendan. Slack out of it. Yeah. Less to swim on the way down, and also you don't want it oh, going left and right. And Sorry, boats. you're talking to the fans, are you? Yeah. They're called sob divers. Emil, my uh, six year old, said we could call them sob divers rather than subscribers. I thought that was quite witty of him for a six year old. Good to BTS, the Sylvia, okay? Okay, uh, good morning. We'd like to put some divers down on the ammunition wreck, please. See you again, Peter. So, Mr. Receiver, that's in order. Uh, just make statement. Listening watch on channel 12, please. Yeah, Peter, that's in order. All clear. Uh, we'll leave this one on 12. Many thanks. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, please, let me in. And against the beacon. Are you aware of this? Over. Amari 2, this is Guernsey Coast Guard. Yeah, that is all received. We are aware of the vessel. It will be retrieved uh, later on this evening and everyone that was on it is safe and well. Over. OK, thank you. Listening out on uh, 16. Yes, can I explore? Hello, Explorer. Are you good? Oh, yeah, we're back in. Head for the hours. Hello, Explorer. Okay, Come on. New mask. Oh, 
as you can see here now my no decompression limit has actually been reached and I've got to go to three meters and do one minute safety stop if I stayed at this depth roughly I'll be gaining five minutes extra deco for every one minute I spend on the bottom as you can see now I've come up to 6.2 meters in the top left hand corner my no decompression limits back at 99 and my deco has actually cleared itself already so now I'm just doing a three minute safety stop I tend to come up my last three meters very very slowly take a look at my mask you can tell it's a new one because I've got a little bit of condensation in the middle of my right hand eye And that's what we nicknamed the ammunition wreck. Uh, it's quite a good dive back. Yeah, Enjoyed it. We could go and do the cement wreck, but I think we're going to do a reef dive now at the O Dams, which is just down near the lower heads. See what we can see there, see if we see any crayfish. Just see what life there is. Hopefully some big grass and some big fish. That'd be nice. I think they were porpoise, mate. Looking at the fins. That's it, John. John, John they're there, they're there. Oh, there they are over there. You will not be able to see them. Yeah, just, just there. Like three, three or four of them. Okay. Okay, 23 meters. So I don't know if you can tell this, but I think we've missed the reef head because we're now at 37 meters and it's like heading through outer space. Absolutely pitch black. <laughs> So I've said to Mal, let's start heading back up. So we're starting to come back up again now. So that comes Molly's delayed. Put a little bit of air in the bottom of it just to get it to stand up. And then away it goes like a rocket. Go back. I think we need to go further up. Would you just be molars up to the back? No. <laughs> that was a night dive. Yeah. Hey. 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 
And we've hit the reef on the second time. Second time's a charm. head of a grey conger in here. Don't want to get too close. On the Odams Reef there's loads of these little tiny sort of caves. Life inside. There's a shanker, a lovely little colourful wrasse. There's a female cuckoo wrasse hiding. There's a couple more female cuckoo wrasse. Another shanker at the back. Quite sure what that little fish is though, but it was uh, inquisitive, put it that way. These things seem to be everywhere at the moment, massive sea urchins. Doesn't matter which side of the reef you go to on this one, there's a big old deep drop off and that's probably where we got lost last time. So if you don't land on top of the reef and you're away from it, you just head down into the deep. So the visibility as you can tell hasn't been very good. It's very, very silty around everywhere at the moment. found this thing it's made of metal not quite sure what it is I don't know if it's like an old anchor that's just so old it's rusted on there it's definitely iron <laughs> the colors in some of these enemies really nice purples <laughs> Lady crab down at 26 meters. I don't think I've ever seen one so deep. <laughs> Nearly every single little crevice has got something living inside of it. Scatter is crazy when my lights are on, that's why I keep turning my lights on and off. And Molly's found a mermaid's purse. 
Sure, what this is looks like one of them blue jellyfish like stuck to the rock. Balan Ras has come out of its little hiding place to come and see us. bit for the environment, get to the load of cat got. Just saying, we should go to the top over the top. So, this dive is a lot better when you've got decent light levels. At the moment, all this stuff that's coming towards the camera is uh, preventing the light from getting deeper into the water. shallow you get on this reef and the closer you are to the surface you notice this big long tago is allowed to grow because different seaweeds grow in different depths of water the largest ones grow on this close to the surface and the smaller more delicate um, ones which take longer to grow grow deeper Now we're right back up onto the head of the reef now, so we're going to start heading to the surface. It's kind of creepy the seaweed when the tide's just starting to start pushing again because it looks like ladies hair wafting in the tide.
that's where we just went, the O dams. It's just a pinnacle, just a head, and all around it's very deep. 15 metres. So yeah, go and get some scallops. Take the fuel. Molly was so excited about going scalloping, he forgot to drop his combo band. Still fresh as a daisy, look at that. That's off a yacht because that's completely full. Smells good. Yeah. A bit of diesel, but we get it going. <laughs> hold on, it will never start, hold on. Oh, <laughs> oh you got the kill switch in. Kill switch is in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what type of fish these were because I couldn't lock onto one because they were all moving too quickly. Who sent the uh, treasure up? Hey. Who sent the treasure up? Holy. Still got petrol in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Do you reckon it would pull? Well, it would Oh, no, I didn't see that. I didn't see that. I was like, you sure? <laughs> <laughs> right, money on. Moly, give him an hour. You get it running. <laughs> Good luck, Moly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Serious note, mate. Well done. So Getting that out of the environment. Lovely Mercury 3.3. One careful owner. Dry miles. Dry miles, yeah. Very dry miles. Always garaged. Well maintained and well lubed. Now, that's another bit of junk out the sea. And it's full of petrol, as you see, in the tank. So, heading back in now. I've had half a diving for this weekend. Mo, have you done the old switcheroo? 
You done the old switcheroo with the engine? Should do it. Should we go and do it? Thing, thing. Oh, he won't be able to. Oh, he's got a different one. Otherwise, you could have done the old switcheroo. Take the lid. Oh, yeah. Mole, take the lid off of that one. They don't move. They, they won't move. They do. They do. No, and I'll lock it turn up in a minute. Good. And there we go. Twins. I wonder what he's going to think when he comes down. Just hope he doesn't throw it back in the sea. <laughs> he won't. <laughs> uh, let's go. She's looking good. <laughs> I can't believe it all still works. Yeah. So I'm just shocking a few. That's the meat. And this bit here that's oranging up is his row, so that's his eggs. And uh, we always say they got eyes. See these little, these little silvery things around the outside of the mantle? Those are its actual eyes, very simple eyes. Be careful they don't bite you. They still think they're in the water, so they're trying to suck in water and blow it out to swim away from danger, but they can't. Pretty cool little creatures, to be honest. See his little eyes. That's it, once again. As soon as we come back from our dive, it starts raining. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that one, and I'll catch you on the next tide.